Hi everyone, hope you're well. As you recently know on the channel, um, we reviewed the box set of the 70s comedies, comedy show George and Mildred, starring Youth and Joyce and, uh, and Brian Murphy, which was extremely popular, and I thank you for that. Not just the series that was popular, I mean, of course, the, uh, the video that we did on it. Um, the review was very popular, still getting quite a few views now, so I thought, Naturally, um, as it had a follow-up movie released, we'd have a look at that, um, as we have indeed other classic series to uh, have spin-off movies like Steptoe and Son, like Bless This House and the like. So, the Georgia Mildred movie, um, it's the first, well, this, this movie was actually the copy I've got, it says on it, it's the first time... It was ever released on DVD. Um, it's a pretty good, considering it's only DVD and not Blu-ray, it's not remastered or upscaled. And despite the age of the film, the video quality is pretty good. It's a pretty good print. The audio um, is in mono, obviously, um, again, because of the time it was made um and when this was released again there was no upgrading of the audio track or anything like that it's 90 minutes long um it does feature george and mildred's neighbors um it which was norman Esley, sheena fern and nicholas bond owen um as tristan of course but interestingly, Nicholas and Sheila are not credited on the DVD, DVD case at all. Um, although they are credited on the uh, credits of the movie itself, which I find a little bit strange. Um, it also stars Stratford Johns, very well-known and respected actor. And um, also... If you're a Porridge fan, you'll recognise the um, Hell's Angel Biker, the leader of the Hell's Angel Biker uh, in the movie. He uh, is the same actor that was Reg in the uh, Desperate Hours um, Porridge Christmas episode, whereby one of the prisoners took Fletcher and Godber hostage and... Um, some of the prisoners' offices too. Um, well, he, as I say, he's a biker in the movie. And George and Mildred first meet him and his friends when they go to a cafe, which was originally where George and Mildred first met and went for a, a meal years ago. Because it's their wedding anniversary and Mildred has decided that they're going to have a weekend a romantic weekend away, she books them into a posh hotel. And unfortunately, though, as soon as they get there, George is mistaken for a hitman by a gangster who wants um, his rival from another mob eliminated. So all these crooks are around the hotel trying to um, take each other out, and they mistakenly hire George as the hitman. And then Mildred gets involved with one of the... Uh, well, she doesn't get involved, but she's flirting with a couple of the p other people that are staying at the uh, hotel, one of them of which is connected to the gang. And George is given, like, envelopes with photographs of the people that he's supposed to take out, money, details, all this kind of thing. And he's completely oblivious, as is M Mildred, to A, the danger they're in and completely the situation that's going on around them. I mean, one of the uh, gang's contacts, when he first talks to George, is like, well, how did you get into this line of work? And George is a traffic warden by this point in time, has his uh, vocation, and he's like thinking that the blokes thinking of, you know, the people that he stopped or find and all the rest of it. Always like, oh, 20 a day at least, you know. 
And of course, the guy thinks he's on about people that he's shot, taken out, and he's like, 20 a day? You can just imagine the confusion. Um, and they end up spending loads of money in the casinos. There's a car chase at the end of the film all the way back to Hampton Nick and the crooks all around them are chasing them, chasing each other, shooting at each other. George and Mildred um, think that the cars behind them have just got dodgy exhausts when the guns are going off. Um, they've got absolutely no comprehension of worry or there's no anxiety between them. They just think these people that are following them are a bit weird. Um, I could say that they've got car trouble. And that's it. Not that actually their lives are being threatened and they're in very surreal danger. Meanwhile, the four miles back at home, all they've got to worry about is George and Mildred's cat, um, Truffles. <laughs> you know, and obviously, um, Mr... Formite, Jeffrey, is very, very pleased to have the weekend away from the Ropers. And his luck isn't quite so good because, well, they go back after 24 hours because George and Mildred think, well, actually, this hotel's a bit boring. Nothing's really gone on. We've been a bit flirty with a couple of other people staying here. And, you know, despite the fact that cleaners around them have been freaking out because they keep finding dead bodies, etc. Um... So, through the 90-minute um, duration, it is very funny. I do wish, though, that um, the four mites had been used more because I always felt that Ether Joyce's character needed someone to play off more when she's dealing with George. I mean, George blessed him in this movie. He is trying to be romantic and rekindle something of him and Mildred's passion from when they first met in his own dim-witted, foolhardy way, and he kind of achieves that at the end of the film. But for me, what gives this extra poignancy with this movie is that a few days after shooting, uh, Youth and Joyce actually passed away, so I'm just glad that they were able to finish filming on this and uh, get it complete and get it released. It is a nice companion to the series, although I do have to say... Um, in all honesty, despite it being fun and a pleasant watch, it is not, for me, as funny as the series itself by quite a long while, but still nice to have as part of the collection. And, and you feel that what with that and Man About the House, obviously, um, the series that came before George and Mildred from where their character started, that um, you've kind of got their full journey, if you like, of the characters. So it's very much nice to have. So that's my thoughts on George Mildred the movie. I hope you enjoyed. I will be back at the weekend with this month's Hangout video, where I'll be going through some of your comments from the videos from the last uh, month, as well as filling you in on a couple of things I've got coming up some of which you'll know about a little bit already if you've been keeping an eye on the community tab. Please continue to do that because there's going to be new things coming there all the time. And I've got a couple of things as well that um, only one other person um, so far knows about, one of our fellow subscribers. I'll fill you in on that um, on the Hangout video and also... I'll be telling you about a local author that I met who, if you like things like Game of Thrones and your dragons and your magic and all the rest of it, I think you could find uh, the story that I've got to tell about meeting this author very, very interesting. So that's all to come at the weekend. I will see you for that. In the meantime, please do take care of yourselves. Look after each other and I'll see you next time.